All right, guys. It is a fine summer day here in early March. That would be Tuesday morning, <coughs> March 8th, 2022, I believe. So, uh, anyway, I got to get back to uh, dismantling dismantling global industrial civilization we're going to be talking a, a little bit of a metaphor for what i'm doing uh here in a minute but uh before we get into talking metaphor let's just talk some uh short and sweet you know in the middle of the of course the number one story on the mainstream media which of course is the number one concern uh, on at least Americans' minds about the little distraction over the pond <clears throat> is what it means for gas prices. Good God, every single day, as we all know, they're talking about that gas prices will most likely be at an all-time high, the highest price gas we have ever seen uh, in our lives. The party is over, and of course, it, it so happens, ironically enough, and, and don't think the humor is not wasted on me. I have set up my own life, I personally, between April 5th and May 15th, and those six weeks, I am personally going to burn more fossil fuels in any six-week period than I ever have in my entire life. When gas prices at their all-time high, uh, the, the delicious irony of that, and uh, so with probably 50, 60 stories <clears throat> about the price of gas and all of the big debate on what's really <clears throat> causing the price of gas to go up, uh, you know, when 3% of gasoline in this country can be traced back to Russia, why gas is going up 60%, who knows? I'm not going to, but you can find anything you want to from the conspiracy wacko end, which isn't much of a conspiracy. They are a greedy bunch of sons of bitches using this as a cover story to the, uh, to the other end of the spectrum where it is globally set. The price of a barrel of oil is, is, is it's so abstract. Who sets the price of, uh, of a barrel of oil or a gallon of gasoline? It, 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 it's such a level of abstraction that anybody who thinks that we can crank up, that we can just crank up, uh, you know, shale oil drilling or pump more oil in from Alberta or blow it out our asses in these uh, in these airboats. Uh, anybody who thinks any of these simple solutions is, is going to make a damn bit of difference. Uh, so anyway, I don't know, guys. We're going to... I absolutely uh, love the sound of the airboat in the background of Collapse Chronicles. You know, the poster child of the collapse of a planet. I wonder how many miles a gallon these things get. Uh, purely, th these airboats serve no purpose on the planet except for these clueless morons to, to go blasting around, destroying the peace and quiet, and terrifying wildlife. This guy, I, I can't even imagine how much he is spending for this joyride in the background. And, uh, anyway, I will, uh, go over to oilprice.com tomorrow and bring you that, uh, but this is really all we need for today from good old Reuters News. 
on uh, on Yahoo News in the middle of all of these articles uh, about record fossil fuel prices. This is oil, gas, and coal. Uh, we have this one, this update. <clears throat> I guess it's just being made 100% official now. Global energy related CO2 emissions rose to record high in 2021, says the International Energy Agency. <clears throat> All right. Global energy related emissions of carbon dioxide had rose to their highest ever level in 2021 as economies recovered from the corona panic and coal use increased coal use increased the IEA the International Energy Agency said this morning <clears throat> according to the IEA analysis global emissions from energy rose 6% last year to a record 36.3 billion tons quoting the report <clears throat> the recovery of energy demand in 2021 was compounded by adverse weather and energy market conditions notably the spikes in natural gas prices which led to more coal being burned despite renewable power generation registering its largest ever growth. And then one, one more time for the people who do not get it, uh, all of the growth in renewable energy does not mean that fossil energy is going down. They are both going up okay it, it's not that renewable energy is taking a bigger piece of the pie the entire pie is getting bigger as more and more and more people uh, <clears throat> demand more and more and more fossil fuels like I am going to be demanding more fossil fuels uh, in the next two months than I've ever demanded in my entire life. Uh, and we're not even going to get into uh, the bright green lie uh, about renewables, that it doesn't make any difference. Energy is energy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's check in with China. How does that play into this, uh, this new statistic? China, which the IEA said was the only country, the only country on this planet to experience economic growth in both 2020 and 2021 was, wow, what a surprise, the largest single driver of the rise in global emissions. Quoting the report, in 2021 alone, China's CO2 emissions rose above 11.9 billion tons, call it 12 billion tons, accounting for 33% of the global total. China uh, you know, who's talking about, you know, leading the world in, in uh, clean, green energy. A surge in gas, a surge in gas prices in Europe and the United States, they're talking about natural gas, not gasoline, a surge in natural gas prices in Europe and the United States also contributed to the rise in global emissions. Well, that, that sounds like it doesn't make any sense. So why, how could that be? Well, the surge in natural gas made it more profitable for power generators to go back to burning coal, which emits 
double the amount of carbon dioxide as natural gas-powered power plants. Quoting the report, natural gas to coal, you know, natural gas back to coal switching pushed up global CO2 emissions from electricity generation by well over 100 million tons, notably in the United States and Europe where competition between natural gas and coal power plants is tightest. Anyway, guys, uh, there you go. That is the bottom line. Uh, the, the very last thing that people are, are going to let go of, pro probably they're, they're going to stop eating uh, b b before they're burning this stuff. Uh, we will see if, uh, if, if five or six dollar a gallon gasoline uh, in the U.S. It, it, it is going to drive down demand or not. We're going to see if the global recession or depression uh, that could get set off uh, you know, by this rise in, in all sorts of energy prices, but especially fossil fuels, uh, is, is that going to bring down the emissions? Um, my prediction is it's not. They're probably not going to rise as much between 2021 and 2022 as they did between 2020 and 2021. But my guess is uh, they're, they're going to be at a new record this year. Uh, you know, the, 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 this whole notion of, uh, 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 of transforming this society, these transformative changes. So, you know, I, I've been thinking about the metaphor uh, of, of what I have got going here. What I, what I am quickly finding uh, in, in, in this metaphor of dismantling uh, this building, it, it, it takes a lot more work to dismantle a, a you know a complicated system than, than it did to uh, to construct it to, to to you know to voluntarily disassemble something uh, it is going to take more work than it took to build it which is why it ain't gonna happen it, it, it takes, uh, as I'm finding, uh, my guess, it, it takes three times as much work to unscrew ourselves than it took to screw ourselves. Uh, what I am going through, uh, I mean, it, it, I'm literally a madman to, to take on this challenge. I, I am literally mentally ill. Uh, I am I am literally a madman. What I am going through, it would take, you know, a hurricane uh, blowing through here, it would take five minutes to uh, make the transformative change uh, on, on this building. Uh, that is the transformative change uh, that humanity is going to see. Uh, it's, it's not uh, going to come from us. I anybody acting like uh, that, that humans are, are, are going to voluntarily just take on the workload. Uh, to, you know, to dismantle uh, this global industrial civilization. Uh, you, you, you know, take a look at it, guys. This is dismantling a, a 12 foot by 16 foot screened in porch. As I say, uh, my guess it will take three times as many man hours to take this building down as it took to put it 
up. And uh, and with each passing minute, I I'm wondering why the hell don't I just bring a bulldozer out here and knock the son of a bitch over? Uh, like humans are, 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 are going to take on this challenge. Ain't going to happen. We all know it. Uh, we're we're going to be clinging tighter and tighter and tighter. Uh, to that damn steering wheel in our hands um, as, as the price of gas uh, goes up, up, up. It's the biggest story uh, in this country is, is us little crybabies uh, crying about the price of gasoline. Uh, and, I, and I am right there with you. Uh, I can only imagine what it's going to cost me. Uh, I'm, I'm putting all of this on a 26-foot rental truck and driving it to New York. Oh, geez, I've lost my mind. This entire planet has lost its mind. Anyway, get out there and lose your mind while you still can. But me and a little dog are getting back to work. Bye, guys. Are you ready to get back to work getting some swirlies like that?